Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In last video, we have seen how to create new branches and how to apply branch policies. So in this video, we will see how to effectively merge the code, resolve the conflicts. I have already opened my solution. Here you can see feature one and feature two are already available. Let us mimic a scenario where multiple developers are working on a same file and they are committing something and when they want to merge the changes they are getting conflict so in this video we will see how to resolve the conflict effectively from the last video we know that the best practice before starting any work is to pull the main branch so main branch is pulled and i have the latest code let me create a new local branch let us say this branch as users user1 slash feature 3 so user 1 is working on feature 3 i have created this branch and let me add feature 3 here see in our scenario we are just making a small changes but in real life it can be somewhat complex but ultimately the process will remain the same so you will have to follow the same process which we will be following here user 1 has worked on feature 3 and he is just committing his branch and he has pushed the branch now while user 1 was working on this branch user 2 was also working on feature 4 so let us mimic that scenario also so i'm going to create a new branch from main branch because user 2 has checked out his branch from main only so here you can see as he has created his branch from the main branch feature 3 is still not available and now this user is working on feature 4 he worked on the feature 4 and he is going to check in the changes same way user 3 is working on feature 5 now i am on the azure devops and let me see the branches so here i can see under users user 1 has one branch user 2 has one branch user 3 has one branch so these three users have checked in their changes but they haven't merged yet so suppose user 1 is going ahead and he is merging his changes so what he will do he will go to his branch and create a pull request as this is the same user so we are getting directly feature 5 but let me select feature 3 so this is mimicking that a uh, first user is checking his code you can see here that he has added feature 3 and he is creating a pull request i'm just approving it i have approved the request and now i'm just going to complete this pull request now merge has been completed let us go back to the main branch and see what has happened now you can see feature 3 is merged here now let us go to branches again so now let's say user 2 wants to merge his change so what will happen here let's see you can see here it has one merge conflict why because he has not taken the latest prior to his pull request there is another change already existing in a main branch which has been merged by user 1 so in this case he has to resolve the conflict so how he will resolve the conflict let's see we are merging a code for user 2 so what user 2 can do he can go to the main branch pull the changes which ever available now user 2 can see that he has worked on feature 4 and feature 3 is already available so now what he can do he can go to his branch again first he pulled the main branch and now he is going back to his original branch and from here what you can do you can just right click here merge into current branch so what is your current branch your current branch is user 2 feature 4 and this is the main branch on which i am just clicking this option alternatively you can go to the git and merge branches so here you can see feature 4 branch is already checked out and now i can click on main branch and i can say that merge main into users 2 feature 4 it is asking me to confirm the merge i'll say yes now it is showing that merge completed with conflict in the this one right we have to resolve it you can see here that unmerge changes these are the unmerge changes so what you can do here just go to a particular file which is having some conflict right click on them and click on merge so when i click on the merge it is giving me option that this is the existing changes so this is from the main branch incoming branch and here you can see this is a current branch so what it is saying that feature 3 is already existing and I'm going to comment feature 4. What I can do? I can take this feature or this feature or I can take both the features because this is already there 
and I want to retain that changes. What I will do? I will just click here. So feature three is available. Also, I will click here. So feature four is also available. So now in this case, your changes is there and nothing is lost. You can use this arrow to see if there is any other difference in your file, but there are no difference. And you can see here there was one conflict and zero remaining. So you have resolved all the conflicts. Now you have to click on accept merge. This will create the merge. You can see here your code is merged and your changes are staged. So let me just add a comment. So what I'm doing, I have merged the changes from the main branch and I'm just going to commit it. I have committed and let me push it. My changes are pushed. Let me go back. And when I go here, I can see that it has detected the changes are completed and it has reflected and it is now showing that no merge conflict. Azure DevOps takes these things automatically because you have already resolved the changes and there is no merge conflict. So now it is safe to check in the code. Only one thing is remaining is the approver. So let me approve this thing. I have approved this and let me complete this merge. The request is completed. Let us go to the branch and see what has happened. You can see user two feature four branch is deleted. And let's see in the main branch. You can see here both feature three and feature four are available. There is no loss of any code in this merge process. Let us go back and merge the final changes from user three. Similar way, user three is also doing this merge. He is creating a pull request. But here again, the merge conflict. The reason is same because user three has created his branch from the main branch and now main branch is already updated. Let us quickly go to the Visual Studio and resolve the conflict. You can see the branch is pushed and I'm here in my PR and it has already detected that now I have added some another commit and that is why there is no merge conflict. Only remaining part is to review and approve this PR and complete. Here I am the only one who can approve myself but in real scenario you will not be able to approve your request. So someone will review your code and will approve. So meanwhile what you can do you can just go here and set auto complete and once this person approves your changes it will be automatically completed so i am just approving and you can see it is directly completed this is because you already set that pr to be auto completed let us go to the branch and check so now you can see here there are no extra branches and let us check the content of main branch here you can see all the changes from user 1 2 and 3 are merge properly. So this is the way how effectively you can resolve your merge conflict.